It's interesting when I hear so many people, primarily the so-called black Americans, say that they are woke. You have some that go as far as being spiritual. They uh, dabble into witchcraft and the dark arts, but yet they refer to themselves as woke. These are people that claim to be Muslim and even Christian. And they claim to be woke, but they don't have or can't discern the spirit of someone like Bernie Sanders. The eyes never lie. The eyes are the window to your soul. Just look at the eyes of Bernie Sanders and it tells a story. The unfortunate thing is it's sad when politicians can come and manipulate the masses, play on their weakness and their ignorance and just promise free stuff. Everything is free. They don't have to give information on how they're able to pay for it. They don't even have to deal with the fact that it's going to cost. They don't deal with the fact that Congress is not going to go for that. Just look at President Trump. He's not able to do everything that he promised to do because you're going to have oppositions. He don't have that kind of freedom to make everything free to you. Free health care, free education, free housing. Your student loan debts are going to be paid up. Everything is free. And that's the easy route to get people to vote for you. You really don't have to offer any real information or uh, speak real issues to the masses because the masses have been put to sleep. So you all, so the only thing you really need to come with is the fact that if I'm president, I will give you everything free. You don't have to earn anything. You don't have to work. You can stay home and I'll give you each family, I'll give you $1,000 a month. Just vote for me. Just vote for me and secure my family. I don't have to do anything. I don't even like America because you, if you notice, Bernie Sanders don't even wear a U.S. flag on his lapel. He doesn't wear a U.S. flag because in reality, he really don't believe in America, nor do he believe in the American people. And he's, he's extremely angry to me. He's got a very angry spirit. His energy is angry and argumentative. If you disagree with anything that he says, or if you question him with hard questions, he come back with anger. I read an article this past week where he was speaking, I think it might have been South Carolina, and he said something that the crowd didn't agree with and they started booing and he was like, really, really, really? So he will lash out at you if you disagree with him. Now you're talking about people that are dictators. See, Trump is no dictator. You think he's a dictator. People thought Barack Obama was a dictator. Barack Obama is not a dictator, but Bernie Sanders is a dictator. He's a communist, and he's got people that go along with his communist agenda. See, when you look at or think about dictator, Bernie Sanders is a dictator, and that's why the Democrats don't want him to be president. That's why. They shammed him in the last election or stole the election from him. And even this time, the Democrats really don't want Bernie Sanders. 
The man's got health issues. At one time, they thought uh, Obama had health issues. And then they thought President Trump had health, health, health issues. And they were concerned about that. Bernie Sanders had a heart attack. He's got health issues. He's got serious health issues. And he's got a lot of anger in him. See, so it's extremely unwise to vote someone like Bernie Sanders into office. And I said before, and I say it again, that because of the fact that the Democrats have no one to run against Trump, even though they hate him, and see, hate is an extremely strong word. And for the most part, if you argue or disagree with a Democrat because they hate Trump and you ask them why do they hate him, they can't really give you a real legitimate reason to hate someone. To hate someone. To the point where I hate you, I despise you, can't stand you, I hate you. It's not the fact that they don't disagree with or the fact that they disagree with them or don't like his delivery, but they hate him. How worse can you get than hate or despise? So where is all this hate coming from? It's coming from the media. It's coming from the Demon Crap Party. Although they say that Trump supporters hate them or display hatred towards them but yet, they're the ones that's threatening. They're the ones that's attacking. They're the ones that's posting images of Trump decapitated. And they have floats in a parade of Trump and Vladimir Putin and different uh, images that they're displaying to the world. That's hatred. I don't see Republicans doing that. I don't see Trump supporters doing that. But there's a lot of hatred. So people that hate Trump are going to vote for people or communists like Bernie Sanders or Joe Biden or people that's not really even qualified to be president. you rather sacrifice your own selves than to have a president like Trump that's honestly trying to make things better for you and your family and all of Americans. See, if Trump is put out of office, black people cannot complain anymore. Black people have no excuse to complain about injustice or injustice that's being done to them and then unfairness. You can't complain now because you have someone in office that's trying to work in your behalf and you hate him. You despise him. See, so back to Bernie Sanders. The eyes are the windows to your soul. Look at the eyes of this man. Bernie Sanders is evil. He's bitter. He's got a lot of hatred and anger in his heart for America and for black people. I just posted uh, an article or video regarding Bernie Sanders saying that one of his plans is to help black people develop businesses selling weed. So my question, and it's sad because you have ignorant black people that responded saying, well, weed is not bad and weed is, and I'm thinking like, but it's an insult. He insulted your intelligence, what little bit you have, because apparently black people are proven, or many black people are proven that they lack intelligence just by the mere fact that they can insult you and you don't even hear the insult because you have so much hatred in your heart for Trump because they conditioned you to hate Trump. So now they can just kind of manipulate you on a string like a puppet and you can't even see the insults. You can't hear the insults. You don't know the insults. That they're speaking out against you 
They're telling you that the only thing you can do in life, the only type of business you can run is drug dealing. They're going to make it legal for you. That's the new form of slavery because now you out there on the corner hustling and then you got to pay the banks, the government. See, so now you're being made into a slave again and you don't know it. You have no idea. And I tell you guys over and over again to come off the demon crap plantation, but you just can't see it because you're not woke. You're still asleep. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.